if you want to get through a lot of books, audiobooks should be a part of your reading strategy because you can listen to them during your travel time and during your free time. You can get audiobooks on iTunes or audible.com or audiobooks.com, but it's always good to first check if the book is on YouTube. So for example, we can go here and search for the book Think and Grow Rich. It comes right up. And here it is. The Secret of Success. So anyway, what I've done for the past few years is when I find a book on YouTube, I would go and search for a YouTube to MP3 converter. Go to one of these links and convert it to an MP3. Even today, before I recorded this video, just to make sure that it still works, I found one of the links and made it into an MP3 here. But I do have to say that the sites that I was using are a lot shadier, so to speak, than they used to be. They have all these pop-ups now, and so I'm definitely more wary about using this strategy than I was maybe even a week ago. I know there are also add-ons on Firefox that you can use, but I've never done that. I think in the future, I may just listen to them directly on YouTube. I'm a little bummed out about it, but I would prefer to do that than get all the pop-ups and, and all the things associated with some of those sites. Again, I did do it today. It still works, but just something to keep in mind. Now, something else you may want to do once you do have something as an MP3, whether you got it from YouTube or not, is you can go to Get Info and Options and Media Kind. If you have it as music on your phone, you can't speed it up. But if you save it as a podcast, you have the option then to listen to it at 1.5 or 2 speed, or you could just save it directly as an audiobook. And when you save it as an audiobook, you have the option of either regular speed or twice the normal speed. So that's a very helpful trick that I use all the time. So I could save it as an audiobook and just hit OK. By the way, one more thing that can be helpful is you can see who these audiobooks are by. See, like this one's by Audiobooks Library, for example. And then go to Audiobooks Library, and you could see some other books they have. And that's a great way to find audiobooks as well. This one doesn't have too many, but there are some that <laughs> they have a lot. For example, let's go here. Let's see if we could find some more. We'll go to Greatest Audiobooks. So they have the prince, they have the signs of getting rich, just some different things. So again, just a way you can use to find more audiobooks on YouTube. Anyway, I wish I could be more helpful in this video. When I decided to make these videos for you, I was so excited to share the strategy with you. But again, I do have to say the actual conversion process, I'm still going to find things on YouTube, but I may just listen to them directly on YouTube on my phone from now on because it is a little more shady converting it. Or I may just buy the book directly from either iTunes or Audible or audiobooks.com. And lastly, remember, if you do have it as an MP3, make sure you convert it to either a podcast or an audiobook so you can speed it up.